everyone, and sorry for my coarse voice. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So uh, for those of you who had joined a couple weeks back, um, thank you for joining today. Um, I know we uh, a couple weeks back we had this in the agenda, and then I went full on hubs and you know ran out of time for covering this. So today will be these 15 minutes kind of dedicated to the latest on site scripts and site designs. Um, and I'll show you some of the cool stuff that we announced at Ignite and show you a little bit more around what we're thinking of what's top of mind with where we're headed next, which I know is a burning question um, for some of you. Uh, but just to level set, because I'm assuming most people on this call know what site scripts and site designs are, but just in case you're not familiar, um, it's uh, the, the our solution for applying consistent site configurations across any number of sites. Um, we, you can think about them as our new version of site templates, and it kind of breaks up into two major components. The first one is the site script, which is, you can literally think about it as a script that defines a set of actions that will apply on your site, and multiple site scripts can basically be put into a site design, which is what, you know, end users seeing what's actually the, the parent folder that actually gets applied on the site. Um, and as I mentioned, it, it you can have multiple site scripts within one site design. Um, today, we support site designs, applying site designs on in our site provisioning experience. So, uh, and I'll, I'll show that in a moment, um, as well as when you join a hub, um, you can set up a site design so that it applies automatically. Um, but a very cool feature um, that differentiates site designs from a lot of other, from our past um, templating solutions, this ability that you can apply it on existing sites. So that's what, what um, site scripts and site designs are really quickly, like less than a minute. <laughs> uh, here's what a, a site script looks like for those of you that are just um, kind of new to this space. Like I mentioned, it's a pretty much script and we support a, a myriad of actions um, and the list, the goal is to keep this list growing as much as possible. So here's the list of all the site script actions we support. In blue are some of the new ones um, with newer capabilities that we are adding and will be adding. But rather than me talk about it, I thought I'd show you um, how, it, how it works in action and actually show you some of the new stuff um, that we showcased at Ignite. So here I am, um, this is the winter campaign planning. You can see it's got all those winter shots and I'm gonna be joining this to the sales hub. Now the sales hub that I've set up, um, I'm part of the sales organization and uh, I want to make this more broad consumption with the rest of my sales organization. And so just like I would join any hub, any other hub, I'll, I'll go here to global sales um, pick that out and click save. And it's relatively that easy to join your site to a hub. And what's going to happen is, um, as part of hub joining, you're going to get the nav, you're going to get the theming, but you can see right here that you're also getting that site design. And that's because we've, we've attached the site design to the hub and, um, it's going to do a couple of things. So what, what, while, while that loads, um, the cool thing about this, and just because we only have 15 minutes, I'm going to fast forward here to a site that it already has it. <laughs> um, so things that um, we're excited to announce is if you go over here to documents, we now support one of the asks we had gotten from some customers was that we support adding a set of files. And so these folders and files actually were added as part of the site design to this library. So if you have you know, a set of templates or a set of consistent set of files you want every single site to have, you can now use Site Design to do that. And as you can see, um, this documents library came with some schema, this retail category, which got added as part of the site script. And you can only not only add that, but you can also set up a default. So all these files automatically have this default set to them as well. So that makes it pretty cool. Um, in addition, uh, to supporting just files and a folder structure too. So it's not just adding files, but you can also support folders. These We've created these folders for the user to have a starting point. So I think, again, giving you that ability to have, provide more schema and more usefulness to your, to your users. Uh, we also support file templates. And so in this case, when I've ran this site design, I've set up these two documents as a template so when I click on new, it's automatically selected for me as well. So again, just really helping you configure your, your 
your document library. So if you know if you want all document libraries to have the new menu with these two templates and these set of folders and these files going forward, every single time that a site gets created, you can set it up so that it does just that. Now, a question that I got um, was, um, how does this work? And I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute because um, we're introducing this notion of what we call site script packages. And so behind the scenes, uh, if I look up, here's the, the, you know, this actually breaks up into, you have the site script, which we call the manifest JSON file that contains your actions. If I scroll down here, you'll see all the good stuff. Um, and then you have the files that I just showed you and you have um, the files in that, in that folder and then you basically zip it up and we are introducing in PowerShell the add SPO site script package actions and just like you add SPO site script without files you now use this action and upload the SIP and that SIP would go into our site um, script uh, storage on the fun site and for those of you who know how that works uh, and that's how we do it. So very simple. If you're familiar with uploading today, your own site scripts, um, just a minor set of differences to support files. Um, but it is a, a packaging mechanism. It is um, uploading the packages um, with the files in them. Um, one of the things we are working on is if you, this what this allows you to do is to take these packages and apply them across different tenants, if that, you know, across different clients, if that's something that you want to do. Um, but we understand that there's an ask as well of, you know, we don't want to pack, like maybe you want to have all your set of files in a public um, site and just copy them over or reference them. And so we are also starting to work now on uh, the affordance of having it be by ref. So that's another of the cool things um, that are coming down the pipeline. Um, but yeah, so file and folder support um, is the thing that the, the kind of newest announcement that we're most excited about. Uh, if you saw from Ignite um, the the new format reviews um, that were that were shared, here's a look at what that looks like. We're excited to make sure that it works with site designs and site with site scripts. So when you extract a site script um, from this list or from this site, which is another of the improvements um, that we announced, and that one was at SPCNA, um, it comes with it too. So if you go here to format current view, this entire schema was brought in from the site script applying on this site um, from joining the hub. So just like that, you can again have that consistency across your hub or across your tenant if you want to set this as your a site script for your as, as a default for your ex entire experience. So let me see where this is at. So you see, oh, it finished. Yay. Just like that, um, it applied and you can see in documents Ta -da! You can see it's real. <laughs> um, all those documents that I just mentioned, and if I switch over to case studies, um, you can see these. It created it not only created this library, but it also added these files. And like I was showing before, um, if I go over here to the tiles view, it'll show that tool, that v, that custom view. Um, so that's you saw it actually happen live. Um, so I'm not tricking you. <laughs> um, so yeah. So that's one of the improvements um, that we're definitely driving. Another thing is we continue to add every, um, I know you probably have noticed that there, there, we continue to add new branding capabilities. And so just letting you guys know that that's one of the things we're gonna keep working on. So every single time we add something for branding, we're gonna make sure that it gets, it's supported by site designs. Um, the one that uh, we just did was labels. So if in navigation for communication sites, um, if you have just a, a label in your navigation, a head, or you can also call it like a, a heading that doesn't have a link, um, we'll support that. And uh, you saw that extended footer that we showed at Ignite. We're also working on supporting, um, configuring that, that extended footer as well. So it, there you see, pretty quickly, I'm gonna go click on view updated site. And just like that, you see the, the, the header, the guidelines added all the, all these links were automatically added via the site design, the theming. And if I go down below here to the, the footer as well. So um, 
really quickly ways to see how you can use site designs, whether it's for schema on your site with libraries and lists um, or for branding capabilities. Um, and then the other thing um, that I, we actually had shown at Ignite, but it took us a little bit longer than expected to ship, but we're excited to be shipping very soon is, uh, so um, if you obviously, you know, for creating these, it could be right, relatively painful. So if you create a site that um, you feel is a great, ex you know, this is the site, I want most of this content to be the thing that ends up in my site script, um, you will be able to, you will be able to use this action, get SPO site script from web and provide the web URL to that site. And you can set parameters to say, I want to include branding, regional settings, the site external sharing, the different lists, and list out the different lists you want into an output file. And what that'll give you is the ability to extract um, the site script without having to basically write the site script your, your, yourself. So we just started, um, I believe we're now 100% in targeted release with this capability. Um, I'll be updating the documentation um, next week so with instructions of how to use this, um, but that'll make your lives a lot easier. It will not work with the add file, I'll add folder. So once you extract the schema, um, you'll have to, you know, go here and do, here's the, how the add file, add folder kind of works. And once, once we ship the add file, add folder, which is the support for content and folders, I'll make sure we document all this. So it's, very clear and give you a, a more detailed demo, um, but you'll you it'll it'll be fa fairly easy to go in and add the the pointers to the files and the destination that you want. Um, so that way, you, you know, you will get you eighty five percent there, and then you'll have to do this other part. And here's, for example, how you set the set document templates as well. So, yeah. So I know we're running short on time. <laughs> uh, so uh, just calling out, um, so, you know, adding the ability to add folder, add file. We're working on supporting ref to set document templates at the document library. Um, we're also adding um, support for set site logo from file. We already support set site logo on communication sites by ref. Um, we're adding labels to add Navilink, and there's a few new things coming for branding that um, we're going to continue to support there. I want to call, we released this earlier this year, but I had a, cup, a couple of customers who were aware, so just bringing awareness that we do have the action to activate SP feature. So if there's something, a feature specific that you want us to, um, that you want to turn on for your site automatically, you can use that. There's a couple of features we're going to promote and have their own setting. Um, so that's another, another area you'll see us growing over the next few months. Um, in terms of roadmap, so like I mentioned, releasing now, we have the ability to extract a site to a site script like I was showing. Um, we have support for labels and navigation that's uh, rolling out. And, you know, one of the questions I got is, hey, it's been pretty quiet on the site script and site designs front. And that's totally valid. It's true. Um, one of the reasons is because we've been doing architecture work to improve our validation and, and perf. Um, as hopefully you saw the branding one pretty much ran pretty fast and the other one was faster as well. Um, we're trying to make this uh, more streamlined and really hungering down on how we can make these run as fast as possible. And so those kind of projects always take us longer than, than we would like, um, but that's something that we're doing. Um, and we hope to, uh, the perf improvements are already visible. The va validation um, is going to be, we, we just started rolling one flight on for the validation, for improving validation, and we have more coming down the pipeline. Um, early next year, um, the, fold and file con the folder and file content that I showed, um, and also support for file content by ref. Um, we are working to around um, to integrate with Teams templates so that then they can speak to each other. So more on that in the near future. And like I mentioned, there's always going to be additional script actions that we add. Um, in particular, like I mentioned, branding, the ability to activate specific new features. Um, now, top of mind, um, one of the biggest top of mind for us is support for Power Apps and Flow and Listen Libraries, the ability to export and import that. So it's part of 
um, this experience, it includes any power apps or any flow or, oh, sorry, I know they changed the name. I should be using the new names. So we're working on trying to add support for that. We have this concept of hub level site designs by allowing you to set a, a site design at a hub, but we're going to bring that storage so you can store site designs locally on the hub. Um, and as part of that work, we also are working on this idea of making it easier. You know, we all, yes, we all love PowerShell. We all love script files, but it, the time has come um, for us to really think about building, giving you guys a UI to make it a lot easier to build. Um, so we're thinking about that. And last but not least, a top ask is uh, pages. It's very hard to do pages, which is why it's taking us so long. So um, no timeline yet on that, but it's something that is definitely top of mind for us. All good, all good. Uh, so let me actually share my screen. Just a, a one note, which I wanted to pinpoint uh, on top of what Melissa is, is telling there. One of the key features of the site, you can actually set a default site design to be applied on any site collection which is getting created. So super, super important thing to realize that it that is possible. So because that means that anytime, anywhere in this SharePoint Online, a site collection is getting created, your default site design is getting applied as well. Right, Melissa? Yes. So it's not just about the UI when you create a new site collection using the UI. It's also when you create an API or when the site is getting created, when you create a new Teams, and this way you can then automate applying all of these settings uh, properly to the site. And so super, super important thing to realize. So should be fine. Thank you, Melissa. Mm -hmm.